I often get asked about my natural hair care routine and how I grew my hair to waist length without it suffering from damage, breakage or dry split ends. So I thought I'd share my full hair care regime that is completely natural and super simple. No special expensive hair care products are needed. All I use is a natural shampoo and a few oils. I have thick, coarse, straight hair between waist length and hip length. I try and wash my hair only two to three times a week when it looks oily and not overwash it as it can dry up my scalp leading to dandruff and also cause damage to my hair leading to brittle dry hair and split ends. However, if my hair starts to look greasy after two or three days, I either braid my hair, use a dry shampoo or wash my hair a little more that week. Before I wash my hair, I massage my scalp with a natural vegetable oil. Rosemary infused olive oil has been my favourite these past few months, but I also love applying a coconut oil hair mask or a natural hair growth serum that I've made myself. Applying oil to the scalp helps to promote hair growth, prevents premature graying, though I've still gone grey early thanks to genetics, and makes hair soft and glossy. If I'm using coconut oil, I'll usually apply it to my hair as a hair mask. I apply this hair mask one to two times a week and have found it to be one of the biggest game changers in what has kept my hair strong, healthy and nourished while it's grown to this length over the past two years. Throughout this time, I haven't had it cut once, so I was wary that split ends would be a problem, but since using this hair mask, my hair has maintained its strength so much more and brittle split ends haven't been something I've needed to worry about. I apply the coconut oil onto my hair by massaging it onto my scalp and the roots of my hair, then comb it through to coat each strand of hair evenly and make it to the ends of my hair, helping with split ends. From there, I allow it to soak in and work its magic for three hours. After the allotted time, I'll wash it out with shampoo and warm water. It does take a couple of washes to completely remove the oil from my hair, but please note that coconut oil can clog your drain, so if this is a problem, I would probably avoid using it on your hair. Olive oil, jojoba oil or sesame oil are other great options in place of coconut oil. When it comes to the rosemary infused oil, I'll usually apply it onto my hair the night before I plan on washing my hair, or one hour before I wash my hair, massaging the oil into my scalp well and coating my hair in it. When applying the rosemary infused oil treatment onto my hair, I'll begin by parting my hair at the top of my head and apply a drop or two of the oil with my fingertips or a dropper bottle. I'll then make another part about half an inch or so parallel to the first and apply another drop of oil. I continue to do this all over my scalp, then massage the oil into my skin using small circular motions for a minute or so. I then use a wide tooth comb to work the oil from my scalp to the ends of my hair. Then I tie my hair up into a loose bun for one or two hours. When it comes to washing my hair, I usually use a natural shampoo bar by Ethique specified for oily hair. Sometimes I'll wash my hair with a homemade shampoo if I have some on hand or if I'm in the mood to make up a batch. I wash my hair in the shower, shampooing only the roots and massaging my scalp well to remove any oils and impurities before rinsing. I never rub my hair dry with a towel to prevent damage and breakage. I haven't used a blow dryer in years, nor any form of heat treatment on my hair for that matter, such as a hair straightener or curler and this has made all the difference in keeping my hair strong, healthy and lush. I prefer to air dry my hair, having never enjoyed the process of blow drying my hair, I've always preferred letting my hair dry naturally on its own. Because I have long, thick hair, blow drying took ages and it always left my hair frizzy afterwards. When I let my hair air dry, it's so much softer and glossier, plus I can use that time that I would have spent drying my hair for something else. It takes some time to let thick, long hair air dry naturally, so to pass the time, I'll usually cook, vlog, relax, read a book, or do whatever takes my interest at the time. Once it's initially dried a little in the towel, I take it out and leave my hair down or tied up into a loose bun. On a hot summer's day, it takes around three hours to dry, while on a cool winter's day, it usually takes longer. 
I never comb my hair while it's still wet to avoid hair damage and breakage and I avoid using a brush to detangle my hair. Instead, after air drying my hair, I use a clean, wooden, wide tooth comb. To keep my hair clean for longer, I wash the comb when I wash my hair, using a little natural Castile soap and water to wash the comb. While split ends are inevitable when growing hair really long, I have found that applying a natural hair serum onto the ends of my hair regularly has been really helpful in minimising the effects of split ends and has kept my hair looking healthy and strong even at the bottom. The hair serum I use specifically targets dry ends, helping to rehydrate and revitalise damaged hair. To apply the hair serum onto the ends of my hair, I'll place a couple of drops onto the palm of my hand and use my fingertips to smooth the oil from the middle to the ends of my wet or dry hair. Traction alopecia is a form of hair loss that can be brought on from always tying hair back too tight, leading to a receding hairline and overall hair loss. To avoid this, I try and wear my hair in loose braids, a low ponytail or bun, or simply out and all natural. I never tie my hair up too tight, particularly at night. I'll usually wear my hair in braids, out, or in a low ponytail or bun. I wear my hair loosely and usually only use hair scrunchies to tie my hair up to avoid breakage and damage to my hair over time. Any bands that have metal on them are likely to catch on hair, while tight elastics can leave hair dented and can snag. Instead, choosing hair ties made from fabric will help to prevent dents and kinks in your hair. I usually use hair scrunchies made from organic fabrics like hemp or cotton to tie my hair, as they're softer and less damaging. If I do choose to use hair ties, I'll use plastic-free hair ties made from 100% organic cotton. They're free from elastic and metal bands, and are strong enough to hold thick hair yet soft enough not to pull or make creases. My favourite way to tie my hair up of late has been in soft, loose braids, so I don't need to tie my hair up tight or with strong elastic bands to hold it in place for the day. And that is my full current hair care routine for long hair. I will keep you updated if I change and improve my hair care routine. Thank you so much for following along. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you soon again.